We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Mariners baseball comes your way next. This one's flared toward left center. Crawford onto the grass, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. It's ball four. Here's a fly ball well hit. Long run for the center fielder, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he is in there. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, d row Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. Only problem, with the, I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Into center field, line drive base hit. The throw, and he's tagged out at second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. And, fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight. Tough to complain about the start they're off to. Four wins in their first five games. Right side, fair ball down the line. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Wow. He almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows some that quick hands turn. to catch up the to it and field. drive it down the opposite Mid. line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat as he rips it on the ground to second, and that's through into right field for a base hit. Runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a two-to-one ball game. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Into right field. That's a base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Rizzolo, the former Detroit Tiger, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Liner towards second. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He's been making it look really easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might want to think about pitching around him the next time he steps in because he looks locked in for this one. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger, and he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. All coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. Throw won't get him. He's set. Here it comes. Bounce to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score. Now batting. Good the job there to put hitter. the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. High and deep to right center. On the run is Tucker. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Center fielder going back. And they take the lead. It's gone. And it gives the M's a 4-2 lead. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it. And he might tell you he should have had it. But he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Mariners get a couple in the inning on the two-run home run. We played four, and the M's have doubled up. They lead it four to two. Smoke toward third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. 
And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And stepping in the long ball threat, Jordan Alvarez pulled toward right center field. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Line toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Correa is on his way home. He scores in the Astros of tight it. It's a 4-4 game. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. And we are tied 4-4. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at -bat. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Hey, when you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. This evening's game comes to an end, 5-4 the final tally. Andres Munoz claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark the